Hey everybody, Dr. Candace here, your board certified pediatrician and kid health expert. Today the word in the clinic is baby products and how to choose them wisely and, and to ask yourself how safe are my baby products. That's what we're gonna talk about. So recently, you may have heard on social media, on TV, in the news, um, that Fisher-Price has a recall on one of its baby products. It's called the Rock and Play Sleeper. And um, I've actually had a friend of mine reach out and said both of her kids had this product. So thank God they're okay. But this Rock and Play Sleeper by Fisher Price has been recalled and they are now issuing refunds. So I'll give you the information if you have that product to discontinue it and to reach out to get your refund or your voucher. Hey, Linda, thanks for watching. And so I that prompted me to talk to you guys about you know, choosing wisely the baby products that you pick for your kids and how to know if those products are safe. Because this is a perfect example of a product by a reputable company that we would say, hey, it's out here on the market, it's on the shelf, so it must be okay. Um, and this product has been linked to over 30 infant deaths over the past few years. And finally, at the call of American Academy of Pediatrics and other organizations, they finally removed it from the market. And so I want you guys to know about that. But let me give you my points for today. First, before you buy a product, you need to do your research, okay? And so it's not just going to the store. You know, most of us know when we have a baby, the things we need to um, buy. We go and get a registry. There's a big list of things. Some of that stuff you don't need. Trust me, you don't have to buy everything that they tell you you need for a baby, okay? Some of that stuff is not recommended. Maybe talk to your pediatrician or, you know, find out who your pediatrician will be and find out what's really needed, what some things we don't recommend you using. So do your research. And then also when you're deciding on these larger purchases, these products, you research if there's recalls, if there's safety advisory or warnings on the products and look at reviews of other parents because that may give you some indications as to if there's problems with those products or things that parents have found that they don't like about it. So do your research. Just don't assume that something that's on the shelf is safe for your child or it's a good product, okay? The second point is make sure that you purchase products that are age appropriate. So a lot of times people will give us, us gifts when they come to the showers and we have all of these products and we as, may assume that we should use them now. Read about that product. Look at the instructions. Heed the warnings. Hi, Shireen. Heed the warnings that are on the product that tell you what age this product is for. It tells you right on the box usually. So if it says it's for a two-year-old, don't let your six-month-old use it. Don't uh, say, oh, my baby's advanced, she's a year, she can do this. It's developmentally not appropriate for that child. So heed that advice that's on the product, okay? Be age appropriate. Don't rush your children into things that it's not for their age. The third point is know how to use it correctly. We think we know everything, right? I've got six kids, I've used um, high chairs all my life, but you know, things change and this may be different. So still look at those instructions, make sure it's for your child and you know how to use it correctly. And if somebody's watching your child, make sure you go over those things with that person to make sure they know how to use it correctly because things do change. And using something incorrectly can set your child up for a injury injury and harm and even death. So it's important that you don't assume that people know and you don't assume that you know, okay? Also with installing things. Uh, my fourth point is don't alter the product. You know, in thinking that we know everything, sometimes we're like, oh, I don't use all four points of the harness. Well, if it has a three or four point harness, that means that product has been tested to be safe 
using it the way that the manufacturer intended it to be used. So don't think you have some brighter idea and quicker way that's putting your child in danger. So if it has four points to the harness over both shoulders, it snaps in the middle and around the legs, use all, the, all of that. Don't just do one side or one snap because kids can wiggle, they can scoot down, they can turn over if you're not securing them properly and that can cause them harm. And those are some of the, the points I'm bringing up today are some of the things that happen in these infant deaths with this product. So sometimes the product wasn't being used correctly and so the manufacturer or the company thought it wasn't their fault. Um, some people were using that product for children where it wasn't the right age for the child. They did, wasn't using it properly with securing the child. And so that all plays into uh, the harm that could be done to children when we don't use products correctly. And last, kind of what I just was talking about was strapping the child in always. Don't assume just because you're sitting next to that child or you're laying next to the child that they're going to be okay. You may fall off to sleep. The baby may fall off to sleep. They can roll and wiggle and, and suffocate and get caught in the crease and all different types of things have happened. So secure the child appropriately. And if that product is not meant for the child to sleep in, don't put the child in there for sleep. Um, again, let's talk about safe sleep. ABC, alone on their back in a crib. That's the safest sleep, okay? Not in their car seat, not in these sleepers. Even though they're called sleepers, they should be flat without blankets and toys, not on their stomachs or sides. Hi, Rhonda. And so I just wanted to bring all up that up today. This is fairly a quick one, but just be careful with the products you choose for your children. Think safety at all times because bad things can happen, okay? Now, if you have the Fisher-Price Rock and Play Sleeper, um, or anything that you see there's a recall on or a worrisome thing about it. For this particular product, you go to service.mattel.com and click on recalls and safety alerts. And that way you can tell them you have that product and issue you a voucher or refund. Or the number is 866-812-6518. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Um, and hopefully you guys will have a great weekend and we'll talk next week with the word in the clinic. Bye. Thanks everybody for watching.